Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my latest project. It's from the pattern, one of the following the paper trail patterns. It's Life the Picnic that I've worked on. I started it on Monday afternoon and I've just finished it up today. Alright, so this is what I have made. It is a picnic basket as you can see. Very funky little picnic basket. Very cool because it's like a centerpiece. You can just sit it on your table and then you pop it open, slide the handles down, and you have an album inside. Now, the basket is made entirely out of chipboard and different cardstock, like neutral brown cardstock that you've just weaved and glued and cut and stuff. And then you've got some little gingham type fabric here and just, I just stressed inked it with um, brushed corduroy just in lightly in a few places and then you've got two little um, brads here to fasten the handles and that's the basket onto the album we've got we've bound it using her method and um, with your rings and just tied some little ribbon on there, very picnic-y style. Uh, got some sunflower and little daisy kind of flowers. Got some the first page, you open it up, and you've got some gingham type fabric wrapped on on the cover. Open it up to your first page, and on your first page you have a barbecue little tag thing open it up inside and got some little tags here sausages sitting on the grill that slide in and out they both come out um, close that back up and you pop it in behind the grass I love these little ants here they are really cute just a nice touch to it and down on the side here, on the side, we've got a little photo mount tag thing that slips into the side of the page. Do whatever you want, whether it's journaling, put another photo there. In my case, I always have room for photos in albums. I take far too many photos of my kids. The next page, we have a little photo mount here that comes out. and that slips behind a little journaling page there. I've got one of these on the back of every page and there's um, a photo mount in the side of each page and that alternates which side as you go through. Next page we have our pickle jar, journaling spot and then it opens up for photo mounts, the little mustard bottle and you have a little tomato sauce bottle. I think you guys call it ketchup in America. Again, another little photo mount journaling spot. Like I said, there's always a photo mount in the sides. Next page is watermelons. Ultimate summer fruit in my opinion. Flip it open, put little photos on in there. They're both the same. Um, another little photo mount, photo mount, journaling spot there and these papers here are from Gooseberry Patch just in case anybody is looking for them. The rest, are, rest of the stuff that I've made is pretty much just out of cardstock. Here we have our little lemonade, um, little ice cubes, the bubbles in the lemonade. And then out the back of it, a little lemon wedge, slides another photo mount or tagging, like journaling, whatever you want. Uh, again, another little, I keep forgetting about these in the side, photo mount. <sighs> photo mount, journaling space, 
And we're onto our ice cream page. Neapolitan ice cream. Yum, yum. And they just open up like so. Um, I've distressed these with brushed corduroy again, just lightly distressed to give the cones a bit of a different colour effect. And yeah, very, very simple to make this album. Again, photo mount, journaling spot. Got some cherry pie here. Um, I've distressed it with, this is just again plain cardstock and I've distressed it with vintage photo to give it the pie sort of look and then this was just a piece of cherry paper very thin cherry paper and again just cardstock it's pretty much solely made out of cardstock um, the ants I did buy pre-punched the grass on each page I did sit and cut myself with scissors, there was no punches there. Um, I don't have very many punches at all, so the only punches I used this entire album would have been to punch my holes in for binding it, and that's just a simple little punch, and then the ants that were pre-punched. Everything else was cut out by hand or by temp the templates in the pattern. Last page, photo mount. Um, journaling spot and again the last page just like the first page and that is it thank you for watching and I hope that I inspired you to get started on some summer projects for those of us in the southern hemisphere today thank you